Hello everyone, my name is Ravindra and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to get an internal column name of the SharePoint list. Okay, you can be see here I just attach one screenshot and this is the internal name and the display name is the different in sometimes. Okay, to get that internal name in the bulk, okay, for our all the columns, uh, we will take the help of power automate flow and send to the email or just uh, we will uh, make into an one a simple one okay so this is my sharepoint list okay i just navigate to sharepoint let's i go to settings let's click on the list settings okay in the list setting if you see i just go to the full name okay so in the url you can be see the display name is full name but the actual name is the different but here you can be see title is the internal name okay let's see for the another one okay let's i go for the email one okay for the email uh, this internal name is different okay display name is different internal name is different okay so uh, this is the problem okay so let's we go and get the internal uh, names okay that names by using an microsoft power automate so let's i go and jump to the make dot power automate till the time uh, i want to extract the information from this list so i just open this list okay and going to the list settings okay let's i go to the okay, i want to go to the list and then i want to click here and then just go to the list here okay so in the list let's have go to the url so here you can be see from the percent time 7 b b is capital after that this is internal name of the our list okay id guid for the list okay so we need this so i just use ctrl c and copy into my clipboard okay so i am in microsoft for automate so just simply I click on the create let's use the instant trigger here okay let's i use the name to my power automate flow okay so name internal column sharepoint and youtube demo yeah and let's i select the manual trigger here okay so in the manual trigger let's i arrange this properly clicking here add action Type here HTTP. In the HTTP, I let select the HTTP request. Okay. So in the HTTP request, we have to do the get action. So we select the get, and here I select the site. Okay. So I want to extract information from the timesheet power apps. Okay. So that's why I selected. Then we need this grid. Okay. URI. In the URI, uh, you need to simply let's i go and use control x so this information i will give in the comment box from there you can be copy and the grid you need to paste it here okay this grid okay let i paste it let's i go to power automate and use control v so my grid is pasted now and for the headers simply uh, if you see my previous videos we are already given the JSON data for the headers every time when you have to do the guest request the content type is application JSON okay and the accepted application JSON and O data you verb both okay I so simply switch on the key mode okay and body we need to no need to pass because we are doing get action then uh, let's uh, uh, save our flow okay and test it it working or not okay so my microsoft power automate flow is saving you can be see it is saved now let's i simply click on the test flow um manually trigger let's click on the test it will ask me for the signing it is signing uh, because i'm just uh, running this flow first time that's why so okay green sign we get okay sign is done let's click on continue click on the run flow it is preparing for the loading and then we get one option here done okay so yeah 
and as I simply click on the done here okay mm, it is taking time okay so you can be see our power automate flow runs successfully and we have this output here okay so let's I go and copy this output using control a and control c okay let's I go and use your json viewer let's I simply go to that website and any json viewer you can be select so I just simply selected this one okay in the json viewer I use control v and here you can be see we have the all the data let's I go view so our path is header or the body so we go once the body information in the body we have the d in the d we have the result okay one two three so in that we have the we can directly need to pass metadata title resource and other things okay from here you can be see my friends we have the let's give me some time let's see find title resource okay define here is url so let's be uh, check here okay so here you can be see internal name is present okay content type let's i make it little bit bigger so you can be see internal name so we need this name from this okay and uh, here is also title and other things so if you check for the other ones okay so this is for zero let's i use for the 10 okay hidden is false okay so and the here let's internal name is managers comment okay so this is my internal name so let's we go to the power automate and just travel to this path okay so let's i close cross this okay Mm -hmm. let's click on the edit let's use one action here compose you can directly use par json or the select action as well okay let's i go to building the built-in let's i select the compose in the compose we need to pass use the path okay so i just simply go in dynamic content select the body use the question mark here after question mark use the square bracket text format in the text format if you see the json viewer okay let's i go minimize this and minimize this also so we are ready in body so we need to pass go to the d okay so let's i type here small d then use one more question mark and then we need to pass to the results Just simply click on the add so we are in this okay so in the result this is index one two three four so we need to get the information inside this we need some looping thing so let's we use their select or you can be use anything like uh, filter okay then path json or the create html or the csv as well okay so let's i go to built-in in the building let's i select the select action here okay let's i select the form here compose okay let's give name here internal name and let's i use the power effects and simply a item question mark one okay square bracket and then we need to use the internal name okay so we just go to online json viewer and we will find where is my internal name yeah so this name we need so control c and simply i use this here okay if you need the display name as well so you simply type here display name name and let's click on the enter value same power fx simply type here item okay give one question mark square bracket string format and let's see where is the internal name okay so internal name is what is the name
so this is the inner name entity property name okay, so let's say go in power automate and use this and just simply click on the add okay so let's click on the save and oh enter name is missing okay enter name I, we not click on the save so we need to do one more time okay so simply i type here item one more time question mark square bracket single text windows v enter the name and simply add okay so it is added successfully yeah done let's click on the save and our flow is saving okay run save it fast then let's click on the test so I close this we don't need to do this okay so it is taking time because lots of things are running in the background in my laptop that's why it's taking some time manually test just simply click on the run flow done okay. so you can be see our flow is run successfully and this is the output we have internal name okay some of the spelling mistake we have done let's go one more time <coughs> i guess uh, we are correct we not have some internal names for some of the columns let's we do one more time take the run history back details so this is we need to check select okay Let's I go to output. Null, 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 null. Okay. So here some of the mistake is done. Let's see what mistake we have done. Let's I open this output. To the output. Let's I scroll it down, scroll it down. And here we have this name we need to copy. Okay and let's uh, do uh, we have the more 90 feet okay we want only the things that is not hidden okay so that we will do after one step item question mark to a bracket string format internal name just simply click on add now i think it is correct so let's i save my flow Let's test it manually. Run flow. Click on the done. Okay, so our flow is run successfully. Let's select the select action. Let's see the output. Now it is coming or not okay so now you can be see internal name is coming properly yeah Ooh, okay so now i want only the things that is displaying okay so let's i add the filter in here built in because if you've seen json we are we have the 98 columns okay so this much columns we not have some of the internal columns that we not need okay so for that this hidden is present false okay you can be seen so we need to filter this okay so built in let's add action here okay now let's use the dynamic content compose add choose value simply we will type here power fx item um, so that question mark square bracket string format 
what we need this hidden okay so control c control v i'm just using windows v simply add and we are checking this should be false yeah then only give us on the add and the select output we will use now the body of the filter let's click on the save let's I do one more duplicate tab click on the test manually so friends you can be see our flow is run successfully let's we go to the output show output let's use windows v ctrl c and then json viewer ctrl c view body and we have only 39 records okay you can be see and we have the internal name and display name so in this way you can be find out and filter your records according to your needs okay so if you have any doubt any question just queue in the comment box okay and please subscribe to channel keep learning keep growing thank you friends